as yeah. soon as I close this, I want you to just Kay. give it a nice hook set. Yep. Okay. Slow but like really <gasps> sturdy. Oh my god. You ready? Yeah. Go for it. Oh my gosh, yes. Keep going. Weeds. It's close. I haven't yep. seen the depth finder. Yeah, depth finder just went up right at the top Did of the it? weeds. Yep, he's here. Ooh, nice one. Oh. Let's go. Oh my gosh. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. As you can tell, I'm out here on the hard water once again. I am way up in northern Wisconsin and I'm going to be doing something that we haven't done on the channel yet so far. And that is going to be some pike fishing. And who I have with me is obviously Brandon. What's going Both on figure. ladies and gentlemen? Whew. And we've got another guest on the show. <laughs> yep, we got my fiance Kate. Caitlin. She Hi. has been on the channel a couple times. Yeah. And people request that she comes on more, but uh, we do a bad job of doing that. Yeah, well I don't like the cold and I don't like ice fishing, but other than that. Other than that, she's, <laughs> she's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Well, guys, it's time to start getting into some pike. We've got all of our lines in the water. We've got tip ups with us today and we've got two iFish pros with us. So we're gonna be hopefully getting some action on the rods as well. So first flag that goes up today, Caitlin's gonna take it. And I'm hoping we might see some big ones too. Usually we get quantity out of this lake, but there are some big, big fish. Over the years, we have caught multiple giants out of this lake. This lake actually holds uh, Nick's personal best and my personal best. We'll go ahead and show you guys that. Nick caught over a 40 inch pike on a freaking hot dog. Don't know how in the world he did that, but he did. And uh, it was pretty awesome. Turns out the big pike really do like hot dogs. And we got into a couple other ones as well. I caught one in the open water, my personal best, and we've got just multiple big fish out of here. So like we said, we got everything all set up. Hopefully uh, I catch my personal best Yeah, today. goal is actually to break your PB today. So I don't even know what your Me, PB I is. Me, I don't even But uh, <laughs> Caitlin's, never, yeah, and Caitlin's <laughs> never caught a monster pike. Maybe we can change that tonight. So uh, it's about two o'clock, just got everything set up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just see what happens. Let's get right into it. What do we got going on, Caitlin? We got a tip up. All right, let's go get it. Brandon, you coming? Brandon, I'm uh, coming. Oh yeah, it's there. I what fish do I do? pros. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do. I've never done one of these. Pick up the rod. <sighs> I'll move this to the side. <gasps> okay. What do I do, just set it? You're gonna take out a little bit of line, let you're them run. You're gonna close that bale. Yep. And then you're just going to set the hook. Close the bale. Yep, close it. Okay. Reel it on He's into him. just a little. Reel it in just a little bit. Go. Set it. There Got him. Go. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. How's it feel? I don't know. Well, it's is a it, fish. Huh? It's a fish. How fast am I supposed to pull this thing? Just like that. If you does like really sharp fast runs, let them run a little, but Yep. What is this supposed to be? A northern. Could be. It's could be a couple. It doesn't feel things. big. No. No, like this is easy. A lot of weeds. If this fish is in here, then no, he's pissed. here. He's here. <gasps> oh yeah, here he comes! Oh my god! Here he comes! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. god! First northern for Caitlin. Oh that thing gosh. jumped right out of the hole. That is so cool. Holy cow. Woo. All right. First pike of the day and Caitlin lands it. Not a monster, but hey. Feel? No. That's huh? exciting. How do you feel? I feel great. Woo. That was a, that was a good run. Good little sprint action yeah. we had. We were just chilling in the shack and Brandon yelled, tip up. Woo. All right. One last look at her before we... Put her back, very colorful and uh, spotted. Got a lot of spots in this fish, just yeah. a little guy. It's a dirty dog. <laughs> the dirty dog. Yeah. Gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. Yep. Just the first of the night. Come on, dirty. Just gonna go ahead and put him back. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that one scared Caitlin a little yeah. bit. All right, so we're gonna get the iFish Pro set back up and hopefully it won't be long and maybe one of our other tip-ups will go up. All right, guys, got our second flag. Sprinting on over, we're gonna see how that goes. Caitlin, how don't are you run, feeling? Don't run over the snowman. Caitlin made a snowman right there. Oh, oh my gosh, you gotta take it, okay, take it out. Oh, I'm trying to. What do I do? Okay, pull it out. 
pull it out. Okay, now grab the line, set the hook. Pull. Is he there? I don't know. Do you feel anything? I don't know if I feel, oh, I feel something. Well, then he's probably there. Oh, Black Betty. Wait a second. Oh, oh, he's, he's running on you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's Ooh. a bobber, it's coming close. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> you almost took me out. Holy crap. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, that, that thing came... was spinning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Down, the thing Bob. just gave me a shower. That thing just <laughs> flew through the hole. Worse than the first one did. All right. Woo. Just got I'm... the hook out of the mouth. How are you feeling? I'm out of breath. <laughs> well, we ran all the way over there and then all the way back. Yep. And then Black Betty was up. They're getting a little bigger. Yeah. Still not the true size that we're after, but. Oh my bigger. God, I'm so excited all the time. <laughs> Third shower of the day. <laughs> Tail wave goodbye. That one got a little messy. Woo, all See right. That? Look how much line he took out. Oh, Holy he crap, peeling. he was peeling. Well, he wanted that minnow for some reason. Woo, all right, well, they're hungry. Okay, we're gonna get this all set back up. We've got uh, we've got some work ahead of us. I saw that one go up. <laughs> Let's go. Oh God. Oh my God. Okay. Well, just came to check the middles, and uh, Caitlin watched it go up. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, he's there, baby. Are you joking? Holy cow! That was. Oh my God. <sighs> Incredibly fast. <laughs> That thing was ripping. Holy! <gasps> Let him run or what? Yep, yep, that was perfect. Oh, thanks, Nick. No problem. It's what you want. I like the moral support. Nick's just here for the it's morals. It's bigger than the last one, though. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's the leader. Oh, baby. Wow. Holy Woo, cow. Graceful on the way out. This is so fun. Oh, yeah. You know that time in the beginning in the intro that I said I don't like fishing? I was just kidding. She hasn't experienced it enough. Yeah. But this guy just went up, so he's just hooked right here in the corner. Oh my gosh. Talk about luck, huh? Bigger than it... the last one, but still not that trophy size. But uh, as we get closer to dark, there's a chance, obviously, for a bigger pike. Wait. I want to release it. You want to release him? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, hold his tail. Hold its tail. Oh, it's. <gasps> It's slimy. <laughs> Perfect. Text, textbook release there. All right, well, we were just coming over here to check uh, one of the tip-ups that iFish Pro that we originally set. The minnow on it was kind of like a little shaky. So we were going to try to come over here and see if it needed a new minnow on it or not. But that one just popped up while we were 50 yards away. Caught a decent pike and uh, yeah. This is so much fun. We just ran from all the way over there to all the yeah, way here. We're getting some mileage in, that's for oh sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, folks, we've got some problems. Now check it out. We've got a tip up over here and you guys can't see it, but a freaking hike right, over there. Right there where that point is, there's a tip up there. Don't so, ask why we had that crazy of a spread, but we did. It's all about the spread. Let's go get it. Woo! Wow. Ooh. All that running for this. Nothing. And the bobber's right there. Oh, perfect. So we chose the wrong one, huh? Ah, uh, looks like it. I might as well just check it. Maybe he's like literally right behind the hole. It's a 12 inch perch, maybe. Ah, oh, donkey. Well, at least on the bright side, we only have a quarter mile to the next one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got a shiner on this one. Oh yeah. Go back down there, buddy. Shiner. All right, we're gonna run all the way to the other one and maybe, just maybe, this guy will go back up and we'll have to make the run again. Well, mid sprint to the other one, another one went up. So we're sitting here, he was checking it. See what's going on. Got oh, it. shit. Oh, sorry. He just broke me off, I think. Seriously? Yeah. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a big one, too. Wow. That oh, sucks. dang it. Well, we got one more tip up. Let's go check that one. We'll worry about this in a second. Well, finally made it over to this one. Movement. Is he there? Oh, I'm not sure. Do you feel anything? Kinda. Kinda. Well, there could be something. <laughs> Probably tired if there's something on it. 
I'd be tired. I'm tired running over to this thing. Oh my gosh! Wow, he. Yeah, he's probably tired. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Holy cow! What happened there? He broke me at the hole. Well, all right, we got two broken leaders now. Oh my gosh! Yeah, calm down. There. Oh God. Got him? I don't know. You want to show us? Uh-huh. Okay, one's, what is this, third pike? No, this is my fourth. Fourth, fourth pike. Yeah. About the same size, but well, wow, he ran a mile. Yeah. We got two broken leaders, but we had three tip-ups there in about five minutes. That was pretty crazy. So, if you want to get a release on, you can. <sighs> Good job. That's exciting. Well. Well. Another tip up. That one broke the line. And this, We've got a flag oh, right here, and we got the iFish Pro that, over there. That, that one the iFish Pro huge. over there. <sighs> yep. Oh, broke it. Yeah. No way, dude. actually. Yep. That's what happened at that hole. It was right below the hole. Broke the line. Let's go. We got another tip up. I can't. Anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna have to get all these settled right now. Oh my god. All right. So, out of breath. Like I was saying. Like butter and shotguns, we got a good spread going on today. We uh, we have an iFish Pro up over here, and you guys just witnessed a couple different break-offs. Luckily, Caitlin did get that one right at the hole it broke off. Reason for that is because we actually have these set up for walleyes. We are running, I and believe, And we're eight... not prepared enough well, true. to make leaders for pike. <laughs> yes, you should make leaders for pike. Like I said, first time doing this this year, uh, so all of our tip-ups are filled up for... Uh, for walleye. For walleye. We I mean, got what, like eight pound test on right now? Yeah, that's not really ideal. Turns no. Out. All right, no movement yet. Just slowly reel up into him. Oh yep, man. There he is. <gasps> oh! No! His little perch, I think. Aw, oh, dang it. I think I ripped it right out of his mouth. Oh, and he got our little shiner that we had on there. Oh or no. Sucker, whatever it was. All right, boys. Well, as you can tell, it's starting to get dark. We've got some exciting news because we've got a tip up. We just set the lights out not too long ago because it's getting dark. We planned on uh, staying out here just till after sundown, basically. Reason for that is because there are some massive walleyes in this lake. You guys have probably seen it before on the channel. We've uh, we've got some big ones. We'll show you guys some pictures because over the years, you just never know what could come out of this body of water. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give this one just a little bit of time because if it's a walleye, oh boy. A walleye? It could be. I don't guess. know. Okay. We're getting some movement out of it. Could be a pike. What should I do? Could okay, be a so wall. I'll help you through this one, okay? Okay, it's not. not it's a, a pike. I would doubt it. How's it feel? Feels alright. I haven't caught a fish yet today. That's alright though. I like being a guide. Aww. Here's the bobber. <gasps> I'm Feels nervous. scrappy like a northern. It's no, a northern? No head shakes. No, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. <gasps> oh, oh, let's go. Cool. Dang it. Should have let Kate want to have that one. <laughs> I catch sweet. I catch a lot of these guys. But hey, we're talking enormous walleyes on this lake. That's good to see. We honestly, I'm gonna be honest. This lake we've worried about it. Oh my we God. don't catch many of this size or under 15. This would be a good eater, but I I literally don't keep any walleyes out of this lake because there's not many, but if you get them, you know there's a do chance at a 10 pounder. Yes, they do. You want to put your hand in there? Oh, no. Oh, there comes the middle. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to spend too much time. God, this thing is freaking fat for that its size. That is fat. Nice, it's like, not that probably long. But... Is it Prego? Yeah, it's a female. Probably a nice 17 incher, but hey, that's the first walleye. That's well, some of the best news I think we could have had right now. I wasn't oh actually goodness. expecting the walleye, but the way it was acting there. Yeah, it kept, it like went fast, and I thought walleyes take a little bit. They don't do. They? they usually don't do that, but uh, we're going to oh get them unhooked gosh. and. Set her back down. Got the hook out. Just a little guy, but man, extremely fat. I'm just gonna say, screw it. I'm just gonna say, it, change of plan. Oh. Ooh, I'm just goes. gonna say, change of plan. <laughs> I okay, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I was holding that fish for like five minutes. I was gonna change my mind and keep it. It was like a 17 inch fish. I mean, nothing wrong with keeping that. I really just don't like keeping walleyes out of this lake. But uh, in the process of doing that, I see we got a blinking red light over yonder. Yep. So that's probably another walleye. I know that one's on rocks, so 
We're gonna go over there Let's and check go. that one out. No. Okay, pull it out. Pull it out nice and slow. Set it to the side. <gasps> and grab the line. And let out some line. A little bit and then wait. If you feel tension then. Yeah, I do. Okay, pull it. Pull it. Oh, I lost it. Lost yep. it? Yep. Ooh. And it was a big one too. Did you feel him though? Oh yeah. Well, we got a tip up right next to it that doesn't have a light on. Let's go try her! <laughs> Do the same technique on that one. Okay, I'm taking off my gloves for this puppy because. Yeah. Got more feel. Yep, perfect. This could be Caitlin's first walleye. I don't feel nothing. Keep going just a little bit more. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Picked it up and dropped it. Luckily, though. Besides these two tip-ups, we there's do another have one. another tip-up. Yeah, there's nothing on Over side. behind me, we have another tip-up. <laughs> so, we're going to go get that one. Oh, well, got to the other one. And the bobber's right there. So, I'm not going to spend too much time. There could be a walleye, but I uh, don't like my chances. Nope. Nope. Bigger minnow though. Could have been the minnow too otherwise, I guess, but uh, that's what, three, four flags after dark already? Yep. So that's good, caught a walleye, that's even better. But like Brandon was saying, we're not really planning on walleye fishing out here. We just were out here later than we thought and figured, well, what the hell? Let's just stay out a little longer and see if we get some walleyes, which we did. So it was a success. I don't know how much longer we're going to stay. If we get another flag in the next like 20 minutes, you guys will see it. If we don't, we'll see you guys when we get back to the truck. I saw a little bit. Bobber's gone. Bobber's gone. Whoa. What do I do? Okay, that's a better <gasps> sign than last time. There's a bubble! Did you see that? It yeah, did. there was a bubble. If you feel any weight at all, on tug. I don't feel nothing. Big oh, dog. It's just the, must have been the sucker that I felt. Okay guys, packing up for the night and we just got another flag while we were taking the tip ups out. This one is on the iFish Pro. Oh boy, Dick and Caitlin are at the ready. It's peeling line. Peeling line? Oh boy. We're gonna let K1 finish out the night here. So definitely oh be a walk. No. I'm kinda nervous to do it. Okay, you ready? Yeah, you hook it. No. You want me to set the hook? Yeah. You sure? You don't want I to don't process? know. Should I do it? Should I set the hook? I kinda wanna do it, but I'm nervous. What if I lose it? Okay, all you gotta do. Can I close? As soon as it, cause he's <gasps> peeling. As yeah. soon as I close this, I want you to just Kay. give it a nice hook set. Yep. Okay. Slow but like really sturdy. Oh my god. You ready? Yeah. Go for it. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh goodness. How's it feel? Oh, I don't know. I've never. Is it Wallace different on the rod? Wallace kind of, don't yeah. fight too hard. As it gets closer, it's going to start probably fighting a little bit harder. You should be getting close-ish. No, it was running a lot. What do we got? How big? <gasps> oh god, I'm kind of nervous. You feeling? Weeds. It's close. I haven't yep. seen the depth finder. Yeah, depth finder just went up right at the top Did of the it? weeds. Yep, he's here. Ooh, nice one. Come on, baby. Oh. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Not a tank. But, Caitlin did that one all herself. Oh my goodness, Nick. <laughs> Great way to end the night. Oh, this one got a bite in him. Yeah, he did. That is good <sighs> to see. I mean, usually we come out here and we don't catch anything under, <laughs> like, 22 inches. I mean, this, like, just produces trophy freaking walleyes. But they do have to start somewhere. That's a nice, like, what do you think? 19, 18, 19 incher. Nothing too crazy. Probably a male, but... Heck of a way to end the night oh there. Oh my think, gosh, right? that's cool. And on a rod too. Even better. Yeah. Look at the size of the sucker. We definitely don't mess around when we come to this lake. 
we we set some big ones i mean this tucker is probably six inches and to be honest we set some even bigger ones for some walleye but i'm gonna get them on hook <sighs> not spend too much time with them probably grab a picture just because probably caitlin's biggest walleye that she's caught on caught ice fishing for I never, ice fishing yeah. and uh yeah we'll get a release on them and we got pretty much everything packed up. We were just walking to this tip up to pack it up <laughs> and it went up. So that is freaking awesome. All right, guys, one last look. Got him unhooked. Had her down there, but not in the stomach. So should be a nice, healthy release on this fish. Got some battle scars. Probably dealing with the old pike. Some big pike in this lake, man. <laughs> yeah, if they're going for this, <laughs> this guy, yeah. There he goes. Of course, <laughs> sat here for 10 minutes with that thing, didn't swim back, but then uh, set her back in just to give her one last shot. Sure shit, swims away. <laughs> of course, when the camera's not on. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Oh well. All right, we're going to uh, finish packing up. If we get another flag, we get another flag, but uh, it's been a really good day out here. I don't even believe it, guys. Tip up without the light on it <laughs> is up. Wow. All right, well. Last one to pick up. Too. Yeah, it's the last one. We saved it for last just because uh, you never know. But uh, I guess we're gonna check it. No movement since we've been here, but. Who knows how long it's been up for. No movement. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take it because this didn't have a light and I don't know how long it's been up for. So we might sit here and wait forever. Unless this guy's here. So, oh, yeah. <gasps> Yep, small little walleye or something. <gasps> oh, he's hooked. he's hooked on the ice. And he's gone. You're kidding. It was just a little guy. Yep, oh, he got hooked shoot. on the ice. Right at the hole. Oh no, that treble must have been right on the corner of his mouth. And it just got hooked right onto the top of the ice. Just a little guy. Oh man, that, that's alright. Well, since this was the very last tip up um, to pick up here tonight. I think we're just gonna go ahead and end it right here. We were gonna do it at the truck, but we've got a long walk ahead of us. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a big old fat thumbs up for us. Smash hopefully. it, absolutely oh, smash, yeah. smash it. smash it. Absolutely smash it, as, K as KB Bassmaster would say. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed or learned a couple things. If you guys are new to the channel, you're gonna wanna make sure to subscribe to it because I'll tell you what guys, we're not stopping the grind anytime soon. Nope. We've been uploading three times a week and you guys are loving it. Everybody seems to be enjoying it. We've got a whole new crowd of people. We've gone over a thousand, maybe even 2000 people already just since we started posting ice fishing videos. So again, if you guys enjoyed, give us a thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, tight lines from NBX.